What's up, YouTube? I'm excited to be more consistent on my tip videos. And I realize the ones that do the best are the simplest ones where I sit down and chat with you guys with my computer, show you the numbers, show you the stats, show you what's going on, uncut, just very raw, and give you real tips, not just generic advice. That's personally helped us in our business and our journey on Etsy. So recently we had our third baby and with that I had to put our shop on vacation mode because I was going to be in the hospital with my wife while she delivered our baby. So when we came back from having the baby our shop I put back to normal and it died. We had no sales for a couple days. Let me show you on the screen. Hold on. Okay so if we go here to our stats for the time where we had the baby I put the shop on vacation mode the end of June 3rd or like the begin like right after we woke up June 3rd we had a bit of the of sale before I turned it off that day the day before we did $200 and then this is the day we had our baby so it was closed this is the next day closed but then I opened it this day and it just didn't do anything <laughs> It was open, all of our listings were live, no sales at all these two days after it was closed. And I was very discouraged. So I got really worried. Yes, I'm in my closet. My office is in our closet, which is pretty fun, but it works. So there's a desk. This is where I work. Pretty sweet. Pretty awesome. Who cares? I don't care. Love it. Anyways, so I was very concerned that our shop now died. It's our full source of income. So we were going to have to just be homeless with our three kids. But that's not how my brain is wired. So I started getting to work and researching and seeing what I needed to do to make it happen. And these are the five things that I did that brought it back to this. It started to go up and then back up and then down and then up and then up and then down and then up and then up. So what did I do to go from dead needing to be resurrected back to life to a $425 day a week later. And these are the five things that I did right here on this piece of paper. So I'm going to go over them. All right. So the first thing I did is I reached out on our Instagram page for hello, happy baby for our followers to go to our Etsy shop and just favorite anything. Just please favorite any items or all items, whatever you can do is going to help us a lot. Because what happens is when your items are favorited, Etsy really likes that and they push you up in the rankings. So we just had a lot of people, probably 20 or 20 or 30 people favorite one or two, or some people favorited a lot, like 20 or 30 items. And that really jump started that next day where we hit $93 the next day because of that. So I was very pumped about that. The second thing we did was used Etsy on sale. I've mentioned this in a previous video that I'll link in the description on Etsy tips and how to grow your shop. But Etsy on sale is a third party website that automatically renews your Etsy listings. And what happens when your listings renew are it bumps them up in the, shirt, the search rankings. So if we go here, I have another tab open, which is Etsy on sale. You just create a, an account and what you want to do is you want to do auto renew and then you just schedule new. So right now we have scheduled for the next, this July, I have, I think eight items scheduled to renew twice a day. It's about a hundred dollars a month for all these renewals. Cause each renewal is 20 cents like Etsy. So I'll put a, a link cause you, you have to pay but you can get free credits by using my referral link. A lot of you guys have, which has been awesome, but it's five credits for one month. I'm not sure how much credits have cost, but I'll, I'll leave a link for you guys to do free credits to have it automatically renew your listings for you. And it's been a lifesaver. So we can go to here and go to completed and it shows you once it's been a little bit what it did. So it shows you how many, oops, how many views it's gained and how many favorites it's gained just from them renewing it. So like this one got 39 new views and nine favorites just from being renewed. So that's a good thing. So we got back on Etsy on sale after being off because I forgot to put it back after we had the baby. 
The third thing we did was we got more active on Pinterest. All you need to do from what we've seen is go to any item in your shop. I'm happy you. baby. Just click on any item in your shop and then there's a Pinterest thing right here. And then you can pin it. So you should, first you gotta create a Pinterest <laughs> and then just find pins, the boards that pertain to your shop. So here's like all about mom and baby, all about baby, just a lot of baby things or like pregnancy announcements, Etsy group boards and stuff like that. And then you just save it to those boards and it gives you more exposure. So anything you can do to get yourself exposure is gonna help. All right, so my last two tips, pretty generic actually. And those are create new products and edit your processing time. So create new products and post new products, that's pretty self-explanatory. But processing time is how long it says it's gonna take for your customer to receive the product. And how you change that is, okay, let me so you go to your shop manager and you click on listings. And you can click on any of your listings that you want. And you scroll down to the shipping. So you can create your own shipping profiles. So this one is connected to 63 listings. And you go over here and you hit edit. And on here, it shows process time. So you want this realistic, of course. You don't want to just always say one day and then you're late on everything but you want it as fast as you can because then people are more likely to buy. We live in a world with Amazon where they get next day shipping, almost two day shipping. So that's what you're competing with. So if you can have this as fast as you can, that's gonna help you with getting more people to wanna buy because of faster shipping. So that was it, short, simple, sweet. Hope these little tips help you uh, revive or to jumpstart your business that's kind of slowed down. It's helped us, it's saved us, and we wish you the best of luck. So please like this video, please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. I can never hit the end. Whenever I cover this and I try to hit end, it doesn't work.